Welcome back to my channel. Today it is December 26th. I know that because it's the day after Christmas. But today I have an exciting day. Me and my family are going into New York City, but I'm prioritizing my fitness life because I took yesterday off and ate mad food and I'm about to put all those carbs to good use. I am going to the gym now. It's 6.35 in the morning that I got to train a client. And then I'm gonna run a few errands and then head to the city. So hopefully I'm done by like 10 o'clock. But right now I'm about to hit back and shoulders. I am doing a Q&A video that you guys asked me questions on my uh, Snapchat and Instagram all day. So I'm going to be answering those throughout my day and taking you guys to New York City with me. But here's my back and shoulder workout before I go. Enjoy guys. So a question I got on my Instagram was how many days a week do I work out? I think rest is super important. So I take a rest day every three days off my split. So that means one week I'll work out five days and then the next week I'll work out for six days just depending on how it all falls. The rest is in super, it's a super super important thing in making gains so you have to make sure that you are taking your rest days. Another question I got was how did I get over my fear of starting to weightlift in the gym? This is super hard because I was a runner. I ran 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 every day and then eventually when I knew I had to start gaining weight and I wanted to lift after I recovered I just mimicked other people. I watched what everyone else was doing and I was like, look, those are some cool movements. And I still do that now. I think it's an amazing way to get ideas and a, a way to add variation and stop your plateau when you're working out. And you just gotta go in there and own it and do it. Just don't give a shit what anyone thinks about you. The last question about working out I got was, how did I get into training? And as many of you guys know, I recovered from my eating disorder at age of 17. I ran. I knew that if I was going to gain weight, I would have to start lifting. I started going to Instagram and looking up all these different workouts. I saw these bodybuilders and I was like, wow, I really like the way that they look. I want to shape my own body. So I was like, okay, I'm going to give up running for a little bit. I'm going to start lifting. I started lifting with my best friend. He helped me out so much. And then I realized, wow, I like this a lot more than running. So I kept up with bodybuilding and I'm still doing it today. And I absolutely love it. You just have to. Go after it. Well, hello. I just had an awesome workout. Um, oh my God, that was awesome. I hope you guys enjoyed that. I couldn't get my whole workout in because some asshole came and told on me for recording. So they made me put my camera away. But I'm going to answer the first question that somebody asked me on my Instagram. So it was, what is my goals for 2017? I'm gonna give you one fitness goal and then one personal goal. So my fitness goal, this is so sad, is to grow my calves. I have the skinniest ankles, the skinniest calves. My leggings all fit me up top and then at the bottom, it's like ridiculously loose. And then my personal goal is to maintain a 4.0 GPA while taking 19 credits this semester. That's gonna be a tough one, but I'm gonna do it because you can do anything you set your mind to, so gotta stay positive. Right now, I'm about to go run into a grocery outlet store because your girl needs gum really badly because I chew it all day, which is so bad. But I'm gonna go in, I can't record in there. Yeah, I'm gonna go in and get some gum and I'll see you guys in the next clip. I went in there for gum, but it came out with more than gum, of course, because, you know, limited edition Oreos. I'm always gonna have these on hand, guys, because it's like an overstock place, so those are like not on the shelves anywhere else anymore, so you gotta snatch them up while you can. And I got these little coconut peanut butter spreads. And another question I got was, what are my favorite snacks on the go? So this, with a banana, is bomb. Also, protein bars, numero uno. And then lastly, always bring caramel rice cakes with me. I actually have them in my car, which is sad, but you never know when you're gonna get hungry. So now I gotta make a quick stop at the bank, and then we're heading to New York City, guys. on the way to New York. That was my third meal today, but I lifted really hard today, so I didn't mind eating it. I just got an egg white omelet and an English muffin. So I'm gonna answer one of the questions I got asked on my Instagram. It is, 
how do you figure out your macros? And actually, I'm currently not counting, so I'm gonna tell you this. You gotta experiment. But my key right now is to just eat intuitively, listen to my body, because I think that's the number one rule, just listening to your body. Question two I'm gonna answer is what is my dream job? My dream job is to become a dietitian and that is what I am studying in school and I want to work with adolescents or sports nutrition or both, but I'm not quite sure yet. All right guys, so we're heading into the city. I'm gonna study on the way, maybe answer a few more questions and I'll see you when we get there. I wanted to go a little bit more in depth about how others calculate their macros on that question. Go to an ifitfitsyourmacros.com calculator or a bodybuilding.com calculator and you enter all of your statistics and they will tell you what your macro should be. It's up to you to find out what you work best on. You just have to sit there, experiment week after week, and figure out what the balance is that will help your body and your metabolism the best. We just got here, it's three o'clock, so we're like a little bit behind schedule, just a little bit. But I wanna answer some questions you guys asked me. A lot of them were based on recovery, and a lot of people asked how I stayed so positive through my recovery. And my number one tip for this um, is, in order to be positive, you really have to think about what you're gonna do for your future self and what you're gonna do now today that's gonna benefit you in the future and how it's gonna make everything for you a lot better. I didn't really think about my past after I recovered, so I just stayed positive. Thought about everything I was gonna do to create a better self, and yeah, so I'm gonna take you guys through my New York City adventures. I'm already out of breath because cardio, <laughs> but here we go. So we decided to take a little walk through Central Park. I'm freezing my butt off, but it's okay because I really do enjoy the walk. It's super nice out here. But I got a few questions regarding my workouts. So I'm gonna throw them all out in one shot. Um, how long do I work out? Typically anywhere from 50 to 80 minutes. My back and my leg days tend to be a lot longer. Like those are the ones that are around an hour and a half almost. And my favorite body part to work is, I've established it finally, back and shoulders, which is what I did this morning. Um, some of my favorite movements to do, love rows, anything that's involving like wide lat grip, anything like that is super awesome. And lateral raises, um, just everything. Gosh, I love it all so much. But I'm super enjoying this walk. I hate cardio, that's the number one thing I hate but I'm getting it in now, so. So I did a live video on Instagram here with you guys. You can't hear any of the questions because it was so loud in Times Square, but it was absolutely awesome. But someone asked what the ultimate goal of my Instagram is, and that is to just reach out to as many people as I possibly can. You guys motivate me so much, so that's why I love staying up on Instagram, but I also love motivating others and answering questions regarding recovery, fitness, gym life, just regular life. And that's my main goal of my Instagram, to reach out to as many people as I possibly can. We're on the way to dinner. Um, I've had an awesome time here in New York. I've been really trying to just focus on spending it with the family. But one question I got was, how do I deal with food anxiety? And my number one thing for that is to just basically live for the moment. So I'm here with my family. I'm not gonna think about the content of what I'm eating or how often I eat or what time I eat just want to enjoy the time and think about my surroundings and not let thoughts that are in my head get to me. And that's the number one goal. So we're going to go chow. I'm not quite sure where we're going to eat, but I'm not going to worry about it and just order when I get there. So I probably got like the hardest question of my life. What's my favorite restaurant, my favorite meal? Well, my favorite cuisine is Thai food. So I always go to this cute little Thai restaurant by my house and I get what's called Pad Si U. It's like a really thick noodle with chicken and Chinese broccoli, and it's so, so good. But if it's not that, then I love to go to Texas Roadhouse with my family, eat up their rolls with their cinnamon butter. I get an eight ounce Dallas filet, with a sweet potato, and some vegetables because your girl always loves her meat, starches, and veggies in a meal. That's exactly what I had at this meal. But those are my two favorite places to go. Just finished up at dinner. I got demi glazed chicken. It was just chicken mashed potatoes and veggies, so it's pretty balanced. It was really, really, really good. I wasn't really thinking about the content of the food, anything. Just enjoying it and the time with my family. So now I'm gonna answer the question that everybody has. What are my macros? Um, they do not exist. The limit does not exist. I am not counting right now because I'm on winter break and I don't really think since 
necessary. Um, just enjoying the time with my family. And I think you don't need to track in order to reach your goals because I've really been tracking loosely for a long time and I realized why am I still doing it because it's really not working for me. So just enjoying the time with my family. That's gonna conclude today's vlog, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. Stay tuned for the next one. Thanks for traveling around New York.